Relative to a fixed origin O, the point A has got coordinate K, 3, 5, where K is a scalar constant. As you can see, I've drawn this on my little diagram here. Relative to the fixed origin O, point A has got coordinate K, 3, 5. So I've written that down as a position vector from the origin K, 3, 5. We're then told that points B and C are such that the vector from B to A is 3i minus 2j. So I've marked that on here. I've marked on B and I've drawn on the vector from B to A is 3 minus 2, 0. We're then told that B to C, so again, just drawing this on in a, in a random position. I'm not marking on A, B and C any, anywhere near accurately. I'm not even trying to, just in random places. B to C is the vector 2, C minus 4, where C is a scalar constant. We're then told that the coordinate of point C is 1, 4K, 1. So then I'm thinking, well, what's the position vector of C? Because that should be the same thing as that coordinate. So O to C is going to be the same thing as O to A plus A to B plus B to C. O to A, that's the K35. A to B, that's going to be negative 3, positive 2, and 0, because we're going in the opposite direction there. And then B to C is the 2C minus 4. Then just simplifying this, so we've got the K minus 3 plus 2, plus two which is K minus 1. We've got the 3 plus 2 plus C, which is 5 plus C. And then we've got the 5 plus 0 plus minus 4, which is 1. So according to my diagram, this is the position vector of point C. And we were also told that that's equal to the coordinate or position vector 1, 4K, 1. So just comparing then. K minus 1 is the same thing as 1 which tells me that k must be 2. Now I know that k is 2, I know that 4 times k must be 8, which means that 5 plus c must be 8, which means that c is 3. And now I know that c is 3, I can put that here into my bc vector. Because the question is asking us to work out the distance BC, so the magnitude of BC. And so now I've worked out the magnitude of that vector, which is root 29.